Hey, howdy folks, it's Rare Pigs here to take a look at this month's Lucha Loot. So let's take a look at this month's box. And I know there was a whole bunch of, like, confusion. I know that they had a big thing go down at Comic-Con, and that this one is late. They promised they won't have any more late crates after this. And that next month's regular box is going to have two autographed items and their deluxe booty chest, which that's what this is, will have three autographed items. So I think that's a really cool make-do for this being late. So let's see, we've got first we got a little cheat sheet. Let's kick it off. Okay, I've been waiting for this shirt. I think this is super rad. Um, <laughs> check this out. There we go. Rudo, a little combination of the Master Public logo and the G.I. Joe uh, Cobra logo. I think that's super rad. They displayed that at uh, Comic-Con, so I'm super excited to have that. Oh, limited run pin, 108 of 400 of Cerro Miedo himself, Pentagon Jr., super cool there. It's from... Uh, Lapel, yeah. I love it. The company name's great. Uh, we'll do that last. We've got Best of Deathmatch Wrestling Volume 1 Mexican Hardcore featuring Extreme Tiger, Crazy Boy, Joe Linder, and many more. Psych appearances by Psychosis, Super Crazy, Damien666, and Halloween. There we go. Show that off. This is super cool. I love Mexican wrestling, as you can tell from a Lucha Libre subscription box. And yeah, I would say the Deathmatch is always interesting because it's either done when it's done well, I find it really entertaining. But sometimes it's just like scary things that people shouldn't be doing. I'm hoping this falls in the first category. But after I watch it, I'll let you guys know. Let's see. We've got La Mano del Destino. Oh, okay, if I if I change it, it's sort of chroma keys out part of it. There we go. Very cool. The strange and startling saga of betrayal and revenge. Style looks really cool. Uh, there we go. That's not going to chroma key it out. Yep, cool. So I look forward to reading this. We'll have to learn more about that. This is the first issue. It says 1B. So we'll figure out what the hands of destiny are. Then we have this month's mask. Oh, we'll do the mask last. We've got. Oh! Ho, ho. We've got a sticker. Artwork of Philip Cotter, it looks like. Yep, Philip Cotter art. Check this out. There we go. We've got Mil Muertes and Katrina. Very awesome. I dig this little coffin shape. We have Chris Parth, Michael Toss, Sir Pentico. This looks like, uh, it is Pale Horse. Nice. They're actually doing a comic book based on the Pale Horse stuff that they gave us a few months ago. Here we go. Rudo Can't Fail, number nine. Always great articles in here. I always enjoy reading these. It's always interesting things to learn, different perspectives that I don't have, so I'll be super rad. Oh, and the autograph this month. Ha 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 ha. Check that out, folks. We got Conan. That's that's amazing. I am super stoked. This is going to be framed shortly up on my wall. I am running out of wall space over there, so we're going to have to start being more discriminating based on who gets on the wall and who doesn't. But yeah, this is definitely going up. Let's do the mask here, and this is always my thing, is do I recognize the mask, or do I need to look at the cheat sheet? It's gold. Well, sort of... 
bandit eye holes there and I'm gonna have to look this one up solitario pretty cool so let's go over everything in here one last time we've got the Conan autograph Mano del Destiny, the Hands of Destiny. We have this month's Rudo Can't Fail number nine, Comic Con edition. We've got the Serpentico postcard. We have really badass sticker. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this because this is awesome. The Best of Mexican Hardcore Wrestling. The amazing pin on top of all that there we go Rudo t-shirt with the G.I. Joe uh, Cobra logo and the Master Public logo comboed for an amazing effect and we've got the mask there we go, and that wraps up this video here, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this month's Lucha Loot. We'll be checking out next month's, hopefully in a few weeks when that one comes in. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below, and we'll see you next week.